it's Sunday night. What an amazing week. Come on in and join me for just a few minutes. Come on in. I'm Terry N. Hyman, Natural Forces Studio and the Empowered Spirit Circle on Facebook. Come on in. What an amazing week it's been down here in Birmingham, Global Mall, all over the world, International Peace Day, all of that energy. Such a great time. I've been going all weekend, just finishing up. Really want to harness this energy and spread some of it out to you. So come on in and join the group. Hit that share button. Let me know you're here. I'd love to see you in there. I left some cards earlier for you to choose a card. Kind of doing it a little differently this week because I knew I'd be jumping in really crazy here. Yeah, Global Mala, Sweet Home, Alabama. All right, a thumbs up. What an amazing weekend. What a great cause. It's been going on in Birmingham now, I think, seven years amazing raising money awareness just seeing everybody grow yes that was so exciting the diversity all those that were just yoga students and yoga teachers now they have their studios and they're doing things with it all over birmingham really great started thursday night at trim tab reading cards for everybody those are the conversations i love to have when we get with the cards and really look deep yes yeah, so we started that off kickoff I think I raised about $135 there, and then I was one of the sponsors, contributed more there, top of Vulcan, lots of people. Yeah, and all of the energy around us is building. That's what we're going to talk about. So come on in, give me a thumbs up, let me know you're here. I'm going to share this. I'm going to share this in my group, which reminds me to tell you, come on over and join the group. We've been having lots of fun, lots of great conversation. Come on over, really, would love to have you in there. Articles, information, group support, people talking back and forth. Definitely come join us. Hit the share button. Give me a thumbs up, say hi, so I know you're there. I see the counters, but I don't see the people until you say hi, so do that. I would love for you to come in. Let me join this one more time, let me share. So much going on this week. We have a lot of energy building. We're gonna have some very powerful days to get some work done. We're gonna talk about that. So come on in if you wanna know a little bit more on how to focus your energy for this week and what's happening for you, come on in. And as you're coming in, if you didn't pick a card before, go ahead and think about the numbers. One, two, or three with the cards I laid out. Interesting cards, very interesting. All right, I think I got a pretty good i got one more share and then i'll turn my attention to you but yeah let me know how are you guys doing we just moved into the fall equinox so we had a shift of energy who could tell who could tell that they moved through this shift did y'all notice a change in the energy did you notice how you're feeling all right we've had a lot of hot weather down here in birmingham so hmm, may not feel like fall but the energy is definitely moving and shifting. All right, hey Kendall, hey Millie, hey Jackie, how are you guys doing? We had a big weekend, really great. I'm feeling really uplifted and really amazed and that's part of the energy that we're feeling right now. So let me know how you're doing. Give me your yes or no. Do you feel like you're in a good place with where you are in life? Do you feel like you're sitting in darkness? Or do you feel like you're sitting in life? We just went through that balance, right? Equal day, equal night, equal dark, equal light. So where are you sitting right now? Are you in the darkness or you feel like you're in the light? Give me a comment below. Let me know where you're feeling that energy for you right now. All right? And if you're in the dark, if you feel like you're in the dark, is it hard for you to be in there? Or can you sit with it until you move it out? And do you have the tools to move it out? Me too. Yes, good energy. All right, Kendall. Yes, very good. Feeling balanced in the light. Excellent. Yay. We want to keep that energy moving forward. So hopefully, you're, hopefully you are feeling that energy moving. Time to refocus for the fall. Time to really get yourself squared away and start harvesting your work. Hey, Adrian, miss seeing you too. How are you doing? How's your energy right now? You feel like you're in the dark of the light. Did you make it through the fall and come out? We're going to be talking about that. We're going to actually be talking a little bit about the darkness tomorrow on the Empowered Spirit Show. My guest is Shannon Anders Skipper. Shannon Andrew Skipper. And she's going to be talking a little bit about the dark and creativity too. So I like that conversation, especially as we're moving out of the fall, moving into the fall through that equal day. Let me know where you are right now. How are you feeling about that? All right. So as we go into this week, let's just take a moment. I'm running 100 miles an hour. Take a minute. 
Take a deep breath, everyone. I've just come from Lifetime. I was doing the bowls for the restorative class with Christina. Beautiful energy all day, meditating, really nice. So let's just take a moment, pull the energy in from the week behind, lots of energy for me, and just take a moment, feel that breath moving all the way down as we call in the masters and the teachers, just to align the spirit body with the physical body. And exhale out, all that running around. Sometimes I get a little nervous on Sunday night, maybe you do too about the week. So release all that energy in the, in the gut area, in the stomach, solar plexus. Take a deep inhale and exhale. So we begin to garnish and gather, pull in our energy so that we can be more productive this week. We're gonna start really high energy, all right? We had the new moon, we had the equinox, we've still got this energy building. We're all gonna see that we're starting to move forward. A lot of our projects are all coming due and coming around. We're gonna have a lot of that energy going on. A very creative week. Yes, I love it. That's exactly my topic on the Empowered Spirit Show. Creativity in the spirit. So we're going to feel that energy coming up for us. So it's really about opening up to that energy, harnessing it, staying focused. Don't get caught in the drama. And use your, your energy really wise this week, and you will get so much done. You can get be very productive, get it going. Creative energy is really flowing, and that's going to help you as well. So go about things with a little bit open ease and know that you're going to get it done. If you get in the drama, it's going to take you twice as long. <laughs> I can tell you that. It will take you twice as long. So focusing the energy and really grounding is really, really important right now as we move through this next week. Here in Birmingham, it's going to be another hot week. We're all going to be going sweating and wondering why, where's that fall, right? But really underneath it, stay cool because you can start to bring that energy in for you. All right, Patrick, thumbs up. Thank you. Yeah. And we're going to see a shift in the weather towards the weekend. All right. So just know that this shift is occurring. Use it to your greatest advantage. Continue to come in and ground. Be productive. And don't get caught in all the drama, all those stories around. Stay focused and you can be extremely productive, especially on the creative front. So use your creative abilities to guide you and use your intuition as well to move you through. And even that little mantra, ease and effortlessness, ease and effortlessness, that helps us get out of the adrenals. That's where we're all running around and just really come in. All right, I had a day like that today where everything was timed and even just getting here. All right, I'm a few minutes late, but just kind of stay focused and keep moving. And that's what we need to do. When we get all scattered, we just make mistakes. We spill stuff. We do all kinds of things, right? Stay focused, especially at the beginning of the week. You're going to see that energy spread all the way out. And then we'll start to see a shift towards the end of the week. So that's where we're going to focus on the physical plane of what we need to do. All right. Now we're gonna talk a little bit about what's underneath the surface, that spiritual energy, that intuition, what's going on underneath, all right? So maybe you drew a card, maybe you didn't, but I've got three right here in front of me. So I'm gonna have a little joke. Choose one, <laughs> choose two, they all look alike, or choose three, one, two, or three. And I'm gonna read them individually and then we'll put them together. All right, so I know a couple of people commented below earlier, one, two, and three. If you chose one, here we go. Seven of Cups. All right. Our Seven of Cups. Emotional heart energy, spiritual energy, especially that Cups. That's our flowing heart energy. All right. This is not the most favorable card. I'll be honest. It's not the one you always want to get. This is a little bit about like illusion, being in the dreams, like um, like almost like that house of cards, like you think everything's great, everything's fine, but you're kind of up here because you are all up here and you're all scattered, all right? This is kind of what I was talking about, don't get caught in the drama, don't get caught up in the dreams. Make sure you're being practical about it, all right? You see the fire is bringing up that one cup that's upside down, so it's letting us see, uh-oh, what's going on with the moon up there with the darkness around it. So where are you with this? Where are you dreaming about a lot of things but not getting anything done? Done. It's about the illusion, sometimes of what we think it is. Seven is also, I always like to jump right to, to spirituality in seven. So to me, this reminds me of come back to your spirit, come back to that crown chakra, open up that energy and see what's blocking you so that you can focus and see where those illusions are in your life. All right. And again, a lot of this is in that emotional energy of the emotional body. So if that's what you drew, one of the things to do for you this week to be productive, again, don't get caught in the drama. See where you can refocus your energy. You want to turn that one cup right side back up. So again, focus the energy so that you can see where the emotions are falling you or false for you, where there is a little bit of illusion going on. 
All right. Now, if you drew two, if you chose two, that is the Wheel of Fortune. I love this card. It's so pretty. These are things are moving, right? I always say when, you know, it's always moving. You're on the top, you're on the bottom, but it's always moving. But when this card comes up as a major arcana, that little center there, you see that center? It's really pointing towards you. It's really telling you destiny is calling. There's a change coming up, all right? A little course correction, all right? Change is coming up. Things are going forward. Whatever it is that you're doing right now is exactly where you need to be with this energy to move forward, all right? So if you have to change, know that's what you need to do. If you feel like you're on the bottom and things are starting to move forward, know that's where you're supposed to be, all right? So really, really honor that part in your life. It's got the wise owl right here. All right, so be really wise about these changes that you make. Also, gratitude, gratitude, gratitude. If you're on top, know it's going to change. You're on bottom, know it's going to change. So wherever you are with that card, it can really help you to move forward on your course, to make a change if you need to make a change. You don't always have to make a change, but sometimes when this comes up, it's like, all right, time to turn the wheel. Let's make a change. So where are you? Comment below. Where are you right now? Do you or do you not need to make a change? All right, and how can you do that? Now, if you chose three, interesting card. I drew this the other night for someone. This is a seven of swords, another seven, all right? This is a little bit different than the illusion. We still got the seven, all right? But this is of the sword. So you see that fox down there? See him sitting on one of those swords? There's a little deceit going on. There's some secrecy going on. Now, are you the subject of it or are you the keeper of it? Which is it for you? There is definitely something that's going to come out. This isn't the swords. This is a mental plane. This is sometimes where we see our struggles. But there's definitely something coming up that you need to look at and you need to see. This is a little bit of that deceit card. See that fox's little eyes looking at you, sitting on one, all right? So that is what this card is about, all right? So individually, that's what you have. Now, if we look at it collectively with these energies going on, it's very interesting. Two sevens in the center is that Wheel of Fortune. So really, if you look at all the cards, it is kind of indicating a little course correction, which is one of my most favorite terms, all right? You've got to focus a little bit here. So not everything is out of kilter, just a little bit of that illusion going on. So realign, course correct, all right? And as you course correct, you're going to start to initiate that Wheel of Fortune moving again for you. And as you do that, this card feeds in it too. Once you bring that deceit, whatever that secret is, all right, whatever it is that's going on, once you bring that forward, that's going to help course correct as well. And we come back right to the center of that card, the Wheel of Fortune. So very interesting on both sides of us, which really matches, all right, the Equinox energy, dark to light. All right, both sides of that Wheel of Fortune. So to me, it almost suggests like as we start this week off, we're now into fall, as we start this week off, Really look at all aspects of you, okay? Where, where are you really dreaming and not really doing the physical part of your world? And where is those secrets being hidden? Are you the spreader of the secrets or the keeper? All right, what is that deceit? All right, it doesn't always have to be about secrets, but there is a little bit of that deceit going on, a little bit of the illusions. All right, Patrick, all three apply. All right, and I'd love the course correct. Right now, the thing that I always gets so tickled about, especially right now, because my my radio podcast series is all about creativity in the spirit. So the bottom card, I look at the bottom card just to see the overall influence, which is the Sun of Cups, which is all about our creative energy. It's that young, raw, creative energy that brings it forward. It's got the rainbow coming out of the cup there. So how we get out of this stuff, how we get out of the illusions, how we get out of that deceit energy and finding the truth and making that will turn is really open up. Open up to our creative energy. Listen to your music, paint, color, draw, play music, dance, make jewelry. Any of those creative things will feed that energy and will also help you to feed your own spirit and your own soul and keep you moving on your spiritual path. So it really does all tie in together as we move forward in this week, right? So just think about it for you right now. What does this apply to you? Where does this apply for you? All right, couple of you pick number three, yay. All right, so number threes, look for that energy of what is the truth and what is not. And we're gonna see this in the political arena as well. 
So much still going on with that, right? We're going to see some of those lies coming out, and we're going to see people questioning him and standing up, which is what we need to do right now. All of us, we need to stand up. We need to voice what we have to say about that. So make sure that you keep to your spiritual practice. Make sure that you keep that peace going on within you. That's where it starts, all right? Definitely, that's where it starts. All right, so let's take a nice deep inhale. You can tell I'm fired up. So much great energy this weekend. Ah, just talking to people and being in community and spreading this peace. I love it, love it, love it. All right, so the meditation we're going to do, quick meditation to just kind of balance our energy, is we're going to ground and we're going to open up from darkness into light, all right? Just a beautiful meditation to start with envisioning color. So if you can, wherever you are, hear the bowls, stop for a moment. Take a nice deep inhale. Exhale out and feel the feet grounding on the floor. Go ahead and close your eyes. Inhale, bring the breath all the way back up and open up that channel of light, your light body. Open it up. And as you exhale, send it all the way back down deep into the earth. And I just want to imagine for a second sitting all in black, all in darkness. See all the things around you in darkness as you continue the breath up. And then exhale, send it all the way back down. See the darkness all around. Be in that darkness for a moment. And then as you bring up that next breath, bring in the color red. See red all around you. And as you exhale, bring the red all the way back down. Good. And take another inhale. Bring it up the body and begin to see orange all around and exhale, see that darkness now with orange. Send it down. Back to your room of black. Inhale, open up and see yellow come in. Opening up that darkness, yellow. And exhale, send it all the way back down. Back to the dark. And as you inhale in that darkness, see green opening up in that darkness. And exhale, send the breath all the way back down, deep into the earth. Back to the darkness. Inhale as you see the darkness. Open up and see blue lights all through that darkness. And exhale, send it back down, that breath, seeing that blue, deep into the earth. Back to the darkness. Inhale, send the breath all the way back up and see a deeper, richer indigo blue in that darkness. Exhale, send it all the way back down. See that deep indigo blue. Back to the darkness. Inhale, bring that darkness up and see violet, purple, violet, all through that darkness. And exhale, send that breath all the way back down. Inhale in that darkness and now see the white all shining through, opening up to all the colors. And exhale, see yourself sitting in all those colors. Feel the alignment of the chakras. Feel the grounding of the feet. And see all those beautiful colors in the darkness till there's no more darkness. See the light through those colors. Align the chakra system, balance the energy, feel the feet on the floor. Opening up those foot chakras. Inhaling and exhaling, grounding your energy, bringing your hands together, centering. Namaste. Thank you, guys. Coming back. Feel yourself grounded. See the colors all around. Nice. So join us tomorrow on the Empowered Spirit Show. Listen in. Shannon Andrews, Skipper's my guest. We're going to be talking about the darkness. So this meditation will be very perfect for all of that energy as we move forward, applying creativity to our life, doing our spiritual work, opening up. So remember these cards for you. See what you uncover this week. Post in the group. Come join us if you're not in the Empowered Spirit Circle. Post in the group what comes up. We got deceive. We got illusions. We've got truth. We've got course correct and creative energy. Let it be a guide as you move through this week. Enjoy it. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be full of productive energy. So harness it. Use it for your highest good. Thanks again for joining me. Please share. 
All right. Talk to you tomorrow on the air. Have a great week to your spirit. Namaste.